Hello and welcome. I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your Noontime Wrap. Tech experts give tips on how to protect yourself online after a new site spread on social media Thursday that contained information from the hacked Comalic database. Among the searchable data, personal addresses, passport numbers, and fingerprint data. Tech consultant Jobin Liagan warns the public to be careful with accepting new Facebook friend requests, as a user spoofing or pretending to be a friend will get to see your private posts. Security consulting chief Rene Haspa says everybody has to ask their bank for additional security features. Many netizens suggest reporting the website to web security provider Cloudflare, hosting provider GoDaddy, and search engine Google. The website hack last March 27 resulted in the biggest leak of private data in Philippine history. President Benigno Aquino defends the police force in the violent dispersal of farmers in Kitabawan City. He says he sympathizes with the injured, but quote, you can't take it away from me to feel pity for our police force. About 3,000 farmers blocked the Davao Cotabato Highway last April 1 to demand drought assistance. Two protesters died, and two police officers are in critical condition. Aquino says the government should run after the organizers of the protest. He adds he will wait for the results of the Senate probe. Some senators say, however, the government is ultimately responsible for the bloody dispersal. Pop icon Prince dies Thursday. He was 57 years old. Police are investigating the cause of death after the artist's body was found in his apartment's elevator. Prince rose to fame in the 1980s for his synth-driven hits and for constantly reinventing his image. Best known for his hit single, When Doves Cry, Prince won seven Grammys during his career and sold more than 100 million records. And that's your Noontime Wrap. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.